Dennis Poon, a structural engineer with Thornton Tomasetti in New York, is on the Board of Trustees of the Council on Tall Buildings. And uh, we're in, a, in an amazing place right now. Dennis, you've got a building going up across the street called Shanghai Tower. And uh, we're sitting in Shanghai, which, you know, in, in the short time I've been here is an amazing place. Uh, as we sit here in September of 2012, what's going through your mind about both the industry and the council in China? Well, uh, I'm so happy to see that the project Shanghai Tower uh, is progressing very well and it's on schedule. And uh, it's up, up to almost uh, 70 floors and uh, almost uh, more than halfway done. And we expect the topping out, you know, by the end of next year, and um, we will finish the whole project by uh, sometime between 2015 or, or early 2015. Um, China will continue to have uh, more, um, more and more uh, iconic landmark projects coming out because people here are getting more sophisticated now. Uh, they know how to uh, get their uh, best uh, buildings uh, for their cities and the developers are competing among themselves too. So the competition will also drive up the requirements for better design and better buildings. Uh, Shanghai Tower's design is so unique among other super tall buildings because of its shape. You know, you know, it is a very uh, uh, a different shape and style than the others because this building is separated into nine zones. And each zone it has a different uh, dimension. Uh, uh, building uh, different, it's, it's just, the, the structure is like a, a wedding cake with different diameter. But the outside is wrapped around by a, a triangle uh, perimeter skin. So the intersection area between the circular uh, office space and the triangular uh, curtain wall system create an atrium. And that atrium is a 14 floor. So each, fo each floor you have three atrium, which is 14 story high. So it's just like a city within a city. Uh, it is, you know, you have two building schemes, one is the interior building scheme, and then you have exterior building scheme, and that's why you, you form the atrium. It's a very unique design. It is the first of its kind for super tall building, and I'm so happy that <laughs> I'm uh, part of this design team working with the best professionals and contractors. Well, the other headline in China is in Shenzhen is the uh, Ping'an Finance Center, which we're actually going to go visit uh, later this week. What's the status of that project? Well, uh, we finished the uh, Ping An Super Tower design, and uh, basically for the last uh, for a few months, the owner decided to uh, make the building even taller. So basically, we are redesigning the tower spire, the iconic tower spire at the top of the building, uh, to make it to make the building taller from the original 600 plus meter to 600 close to 660 meter tall, and. Uh, they, uh, one of the main other reasons uh, driven the, uh, re uh, the redesign of the tower spire, in addition to making it taller, is that we, we, we tried to get rid of the two mass damper inside the tower spire uh, in, uh, for, for different reasons, uh, because the owner wanted to save more money. And, and at the same time, they think that since we're bringing up the, the tower mass further up, the tower spire further up is a good opportunity to redesign it and, and do more wind tunnel tests to eliminate that uh, tower spire too much damper. And the foundation for the tower is in already for Ping An uh, uh, IFC tower. And uh, we are up to the, the five level basement is done already for the tower. The core is done. We are almost, uh, uh, almost coming close to the, to the ground floor already. Uh, and the, the steel order uh, and the con on the major general contract uh, for the superstructure is, is on its way. The owner is uh, finalizing the contract with the uh, with the contractor now. So has this turned into sort of a design build project? Are you changing the height of the building while it's under construction? No, it is still not designed because it is still designed by original design team, our office, uh, Fondon Tomasetti and the KPF Architects, together with local design institute in Xinjiang. And the contractor is another team. So we still do the design and they will build it. But since we are de redesigning only the, the very top of the building, it does not affect the bottom that much. I wanted to ask you about uh, spectacular places and tall buildings because we certainly have that in the atriums uh, that are under construction at Shanghai Tower. And one thing that caught my attention was the diagram about uh, the, the top of the building in the Ping An Finance Center. Describe that. Uh, that uh, illustration for me and tell me what's going on up there. 
well, why building build such a tall tower? Because they want to be tall. Well, why people go up to the top of Empire State Building? Because they want to, to climb up to the top. Just like people like to go to the top of the hill, go to the top of the mountain. Same idea when you build a high-rise building. Everyone wants to be on the top floor. So what's the, what's, the, what's the highest floor of the building? It's the rooftop. So when everyone wants to go to the rooftop, it does have a sense of conquer. Okay? And then you, when, you know, oh, I'm up to the, the, the highest point. When you get to the highest point, it becomes a good gathering place. You get a, you get a panoramic view of the city all around, and people feel so different from being on the ground. And also, when you're living in the city, it's so crowded on the ground floor and in the, in, in, in the city area. So you want, it's like a feeling of escape from the, the high density area. So you want to be on the, on the cloud nine. So, and that means, that means uh, it is so popular now for people uh, who want to always want to go up to the top floor. So when people want to go to the top floor, it makes sense to create a sky atrium. First you get, the, and this sky atrium can be used as exhibition space, convention space, banquet space, conference room, and, and high-end use space. So it's a revenue maker for the, uh, for the developer itself. So, and believe me, in reality, it is true. When you go up to the roof, to the rooftop atrium area with this spectacular, spectacular view, the feeling of wow exists. So you know, uh, that's why you know, uh, all the rooftop atrium are being designed with extreme tension to make it right. Then I think whenever the other place for a super high rise building is not necessary, you know, you have 100 something floors, or 100 floors. So every floor is as exciting as this is. The higher the floor, you know, people say, well, well, you rent the space. Where are you? You're on the 50th floor. Oh, I'm the 80th floor. I'm higher than you. You know, people, that's why the higher the floors, the higher the, the higher is the rent. Even they look out to see their neighbors, but they want to say, I'm on the 99th floor. You're on what floor? 50th floor? Ah, I beat you. <laughs> but when you arrive at the building, I think the first impression that will impress the, uh, the visitor is the lobby of the high-rise building. Because once you enter the lobby, that's the reception area. So usually, the lobby area of a super high-rise building of a major office building will have a very tall lobby, which is like two, three, or four story high. So when you go in there, you, because the, the high ceiling gives you the, 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 uh, the leads you to, to uh, the fact that I'm entering a high, tall space. So, and spacious and all that with the, with the beautiful design, well lit area is the atrium. And then when you take the elevator up to the floors that you want, or hopefully you can go up to the banquet space or the, uh, or the meeting room or exhibition space on the top floor, you see the city. Wow, this is the place. So if you had to pick the most exciting place in any tall building in the world, either existing or under construction, is it the Ping An, uh, the top of Ping An in the future? Is it, uh, is it your atrium, is it Shanghai Tower, or somewhere else? Where is that place? I will say both of them will be exciting. They have a different character, so which I want to keep some secret here. Uh, when it is finished, I'm sure Shanghai Tower is at 632 meter high. It's going to be finished before uh, Ping An uh, IFC Tower. And the uh, the public space and the atrium space on the rooftop of Shanghai Tower will be extremely exciting. Uh, it has a different design uh, from the uh, Ping An Tower. So each one have the uh, interesting uh, attraction up there. And I'm sure the visitor will find a different uh, ex uh, exciting feeling and, and a different experience when they go up to that uh, building. I wanted to ask you about that too. At the top of the Shanghai Tower uh, is a very unique place that's under construction and give us a little preview of what that's going to be like. Well, um, right now uh, the owner is uh, designing the top of the Shanghai Tower with different interior designers. So they are considering different functions there and which and there will be some outdoor a space uh, in the rooftop. For, of course, it will be safeguarded by glass. It will be some outdoor space for people to walk around instead of a fully enclosed air-conditioned space. But uh, so that is one of the difference uh, of the rooftop uh, public space from the of the Shanghai Tower from different from the Ping An Tower. Ping An Tower will be 
more or less an enclosed indoor space. And how tall will that space be atop Shanghai Tower? Uh, it will be a little bit taller than the Shanghai Tower because Ping An Tower is a little bit taller than the uh, Shanghai Tower by about maybe 20 something meters, but because of the tower spine. But the tower occupied force will be similar to each other. You don't see the difference that much. How big of a space are we talking about on Shanghai Tower? Is it another 14 floor atrium or how many, how many stories? No, are it meters? will be probably around three to four story high, three story high, three, four story high. Yeah, and it's quite uh, reasonable because out, out, outside there we have all the mechanical areas and things like that. So it will be well designed. And the owner of Shanghai Tower is very cautious uh, about the, uh, the interior design of that space. So. Um, is it still a work in progress? I think they have, uh, they're pretty far along in design already. So um, uh, they almost uh, come to the final design already. Yeah. The other, the last question I wanted to ask you was about the Broad Group and their plans for a very quickly built 838 meter building. As a structural engineer, have you looked at that, and what do you what do you think about their plans? Uh, as a design professional, uh, I'm sure a lot of my colleagues will agree with me that this kind of targeted design and construction schedule is uh, a, sounds too too challenging to us because it's not a matter of how fast you can design on the paper. There are a lot of approval process you have to go through, and what will be the sense of rushing? Within such a few, you know, with a super short period of time, for a major project, 800 something meter, you want to rush for that? What's the sense of rushing to finish it too early? So, to me, it doesn't sound that logical. You know, is there basic engineering sound? I don't. I I will not design a building in this kind of pace. If I want to design a masterpiece, I want to make sure it deserves a masterpiece design time for have to have the right product. You know, and uh, we all know that when you rush to do something, um, you're taking a chance. The risk is much higher. And the council uh, is in Shanghai, is, is getting into China now, which is something that maybe we could have only dreamed about 10 years ago. What does it mean for the council to be here? Well, uh, as, as a uh, member of the Board of Trustees for the Council of Tall Buildings, and uh, uh, you know, I can say for, you know, with all my colleagues that we are very excited to hold our first uh, World Congress in China uh, with all the publicity and interest um, uh, dawned on us, honored to us. So we, uh, we sold out the, uh, the tickets and all the booth and the sponsorship very quickly, um, which is not surprising to us. I think Mr. Anthony Woods, uh, the executive director of CDBUX, anticipate that already because you know, China is a place with uh, the fastest growth the last 20 years with so many buildings. It's, so it is so natural that this is the right place to hold this important uh, international conference with all the professionals coming to Shanghai, which is also an exciting place to be. And who doesn't want to come to Shanghai if you have not been in Shanghai? And then we, anything, any area around Shanghai, Suzhou, Hangzhou, Beijing, and Hong Kong, also use, people use it as a good uh, reason as part of the itinerary to visit these places. You know, it'll be, it'll be. So uh, it, I, ex I, I anticipate it will be a great uh, conference here with all the professionals in our industry. Dennis Poon of Thornton Tomasetti, thanks for dropping by.